Hi again guys! So before we start with the fall calligraphy, I just like to explain to you about the guidelines of, of the paper. This is very important when you're starting out, um, either with fall calligraphy or actual calligraphy, because I don't know with you guys, but I cannot write on a straight line. Alright, so I really do need a guideline. But aside from that, the reason why you have guidelines is, you know, for you to know the proportion of your letters. Right? So it will really help you form your letters. But um, with modern fall calligraphy, you can either have like a script, meaning it's like cursive, or you can do it upright if you want to. So either way. So the guideline usually will consist of, you know, um, horizontal lines like this. But um, for, for reference in our practice, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like an X mark on this area over here. This X mark in calligraphy, we call it the X height. Basically, that's the height of your small letters, like, you know, the A, like this, or even an O. And then anything that goes up above that is what you call the ascender line. So that's where, let's say, your letter T extends upward like that, or your letter H. And then at the bottom, this is what you call the sender, the sender line. So letters like the letter Y, G, that, that extends towards that portion over there. So obviously, if it's on the ascender line, this area over here is called an ascender, and this area over here is what you call a descender. So, you know, very um, basic terms that uh, we use in calligraphy, but it's also good to know, even if you're doing fa calligraphy. So that is um, the importance of the guideline. This is also provided um, for you to download. So you can just put that X mark over there just for you to know like where to write your letter. All right, so let's get started with the alphabet. <laughs> 